Bruce Garland knows a thing or two about tackling the sand. He's one of Australia's most experienced and successful off-road competitors. This Dakar veteran and multiple Australasian safari champ is also a fellow Queenslander, so he must be pretty cluey, eh? Hi, I'm Bruce Garland. I'd like to show you some of the techniques that I've picked up racing in deserts all over the world. So come with me now, we'll go down to the beach and I'll show you a few of the tips that'll make it a little bit easier for you next time you bring your four-wheel drive. Come on, let's go and have some fun. The most important thing before you go into the sand dunes is have the right vehicle and the right tyre. We have an Isuzu D-Max 3-litre turbo diesel and we're using a ball train. So the first thing we're going to do is let the tyres down. So what we're using here is the tyre inflator. Put that on the valve and then you can put the gauge on then. I've made this lovely new tyre gauge which big, big letters and big writing for old blind people. <laughs> so what we're trying to do here is make the tyre wobble. When it gets down to 17, it'll actually get like a jello feel to it. You can see it's still it's quite hard. Perfect. It's yummy. See, that's got a nice wobble in it. That's what we want. Okay, the last thing we do before we go is make sure everything's tied in nice and tight. All the gears stowed away inside. And everyone's got their seat belt. So come on, let's go. Okay, we're driving along these nice sandy tracks here. They've got a bit of real tracks in them. The best thing is just to just use the throttle, not overreact too much on the steering. Sort of natural reaction is to try and correct the vehicle with the steering, but it'll actually calm down from being nervous if you just take your foot off the throttle a little bit more. You're using a lot of throttle. This is what's happening. It gets quite twitchy and violent. You've got your momentum, just use the throttle to keep it chopping along at a nice, comfortable speed. It's not too violent. If you're racing, you might do 140 through here, but we're only doing not racing, so we're just having a bit of fun. When you're planning your route through the sand dunes, we've actually driven up the backbone of the mountain. And you can see here, it's got this nice rippling effect, and it's got very hard. Very hard sand. Now when we walk over here, this is where we've got stuck before. It's starting to get very soft now. Can you see that? And all this soft stuff has come off those dunes, the wind's blowing it over here and it's landed on this bit. And the hard bit at the top is all the heavy sand. Anything light gets blown. So you can see the quite a bit of difference, just a few metres making the right choice. You either get stuck or you have an easy run up the hill. Now this hill we're going to need a bit of run up. Momentum's your best friend when you're going up a sand dune. So we're going to attack it with a fair bit of go. And then I'll show you what it's like when you don't have enough run-up. So as we get to the top, it's a little really soft here. Ah, just give it a little wiggle like that, and up. it. It's easy peasy. So now we're at the bottom of the same sand dune. We're gonna take off in second, but now we've got no run-up, so we've got, we, haven't, we haven't got any momentum. So let's see how far we can get up the hill. Right it flat and third. Now I'm gonna wiggle it. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. No, no, I, no, I can't do it. So we'll just reverse back, nice and steady. In sand, momentum's your best friend. In between the dunes, you can come across what's called a sand bowl, and they're extremely soft. They're like quicksand in there. So as you come over the big sand dune, if you come across one of these bowls, the best thing is to try and go around the edge of it and go round and round in circles to build your momentum up. Sometimes you have to go back the way you came to get out. Don't be afraid to actually reverse your direction and then come back and stop and have a look at it and have another go at it. OK, now as we come to the top of the dune here, we know there's going to be a steep drop off because we've come up the soft side. So I've just got in low range first gear, put on the brake, put off the clutch, just let in, and as you get down the bottom, just give it a little bit of a turn, and then you've got to pick where you're going. 
At the moment, I'm going for high ground because I know there's some soft patches here. Off we go again. Low range, off the clutch. I've got a bit of throttle on to get us over the lip. Just off the throttle. There's a bit of lock. Give it some gear now. Good. We're into some really soft sand here. So we want some momentum. One of the things you have to be careful of when you're driving in sand is where you decide to stop and have a look. The best way is to actually find a place like this where the sand looks all right and point it downhill and don't touch the brakes. See how quickly it stopped up? Stop with no brakes. And then just take second gear, low range, off we go. We've got the advantage of nature on our side with a bit of gravity going downhill. But if you want to see some hardcore sand driving, let's check out some footage from the Australasian Safari. This event started in 1985. And the last three years have been conducted in Western Australia. It involves racing in really remote areas. Competitors include quads, bikes, and uh, cars, of course. One of the most important things when driving on loose surface is to lift off the throttle as you're turning into the corner. The reason is to feel how much grip you have on the road. So once you practice that skill, then your anticipation level is a lot more alert and you get to know by looking at the corner how fast you can actually attack it or approach it safely and then get through the corner safely. Travelling down rough tracks, especially sandy tracks, once you've attained the speed that you want to be travelling at, then you use your throttle to stabilise the car. This, this happens in, in deep sand. If you put too much throttle on it, you start losing the control of the car. It starts getting very nervous and, and it starts jumping out of the track. So you can actually come back to, say, half throttle and still be doing the same, exactly the same speed through, but the car is a lot less nervous. Following the tracks in the uh, Australian Safari are quite difficult, they're very hard to see and I'm lucky to have a really good navigator, his name's Harry Suzuki, he's Japanese but he lives in Australia and he, without him we'd get lost and uh, he's actually telling us when to turn, the distances to turn, what I've got to look for and some of the tracks are extremely hard to see especially when you're first car on the road and um, the communication between Harry and I is quite critical. People often ask me what the real secret is, and it, the best way to describe it, it's experience gives you confidence, confidence gives you anticipation, and when you get it right, it's a real buzz, it's like a drug. I can't wait till next year, it's the most fun you can have with your clothes on.